morning. I'm Lynn and welcome to, yes, another windy day at Utopia Farms. Today is going to be a busier day on the farm. We're going to feed the sheep as usual. We're going to watch the lambs have their little runabouts in the yard, but then we're going to get down to the work of taking all the rams out of the breeding groups and we're going to move these Dorset ewes over to the main barn and we're going to vaccinate this Dorset group and the two Suffolk groups that are in the barn. So lots going on today. And we're going to start with releasing the lambs. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> decision is always do we leave the food or do we go out to play usually the decision is to go out to play come on the gates open We got a few still eating in here, but they probably haven't realized that the gate's open. But we'll leave them to it. And they'll figure out soon enough that the other crew are out there. And we're going to continue on with chores. So, right now, these guys are all happy. But these girls are not, because today is the day we're taking them off the grain. So they're not too happy about that, but we're tr starting the process of drying them up right now. So when they have less grain, they will produce less milk, plus their lambs are still there sucking on them, and that will help them dry, dry up even quicker. That way we avoid mastitis issues when we wean the lambs and we avoid having to use drugs to dry them up. So we like to keep things as natural as we possibly can. So they are still going to get hay. Uh, Arnie's just picking some up now, but uh, the grain is out. Okay, so they'll be a little bit happier now because the hay is coming. It's not like we're going to starve them. They're just not getting a treat anymore. He's trying to keep them up from the main barn because we're working in the coveralls. And yesterday, six of them, led by number two, we got into the main barn and we didn't know and they were in there all day <laughs> when they got back to this barn they were pretty happy to see their moms hi stinky how you doing you look like you're pretty mucky <laughs> Here comes the rest of them. Oh, and there they go, down the other way. Now we, they're going the way we don't want them to go. Today's a muddy day. Windy, but muddy and rainy. Motley crew, they all met me at the milk house today for their bottles, didn't ya? You came all the way to the milk house, so I didn't have to walk. Yeah, you did too. Yeah, you guys are looking really good. 
Yeah. Don't go in there, buddy. She don't need to be in there. No, it's a bad place. It's a bad place to be. Now they have to go in there. They just can't not do that. Buddies, why? Hi, little morsel. You came out here too today. You're growing. Come on, you guys. Let's go to the coveralls. It's not very exciting in that room. Come on then. Come on, Seymour's sister. Come on. Come on. Seymour's sister. There's no one that way. Come back here. Come on. Come on. No, not that way. Everyone's gone. Seymour's sister. Come on. You're being a silly girl. You're being a silly girl. You drank your milk already. Come on. That's it. You better get with the others. Quickly. Quickly. They've all left you now. You're the only one. There they are. Oh, and look at who's with them. Oh, Ems, I see you're a little bit rough with little Buddy. Buddy, are they after you? Buddy. Oh, they're being mean to you, Buddy bottom back there. Don't butt Buddy. He's a nice pussy cat. Come on. Leave him alone. He doesn't does it look like he likes that. Buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. They're 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 kind of molesting you. Okay, now they're gonna do the exodus into the pasture. At least the field is nice and got grass still. Go on, go that way. Go that way. They should get their exercise. They're running around the wagons. I think they're like us, they prefer the sunny days. Hi Seymour, hi. Hi buddy, hi. You're a nice Rammy. Hi Seymour's sister. Everyone's run off except these two, who are too busy battling to notice that the, the, the crowd left. Oh, so now we're going to go on to the burning pile.
That's the fire pile. That's the most fun thing to climb on right now. Now we're just feeding this barn and then we're going to head off to the last coverall. But before we go to the last coverall, I'm going to have to go to the main barn because all the lambs took off down towards the main barn again. Max? Crew is heading back. <laughs> At least sheep stay together. There, but it looks like they are all coming back. Yes, we're back to mucky conditions again today. We're gonna keep the replacement sheep in the barn. They got lots of room, lots of feed, but we definitely, the biggest problem is walking out in the mud. I don't think they'd go out, but for their health, we're gonna keep them in today. Funny that the pigeon is on the because I always said to Arnie, if you're in a field of sheep, you'll often see birds landing on their backs and stuff, and you'll probably say, well, they're getting flies or whatever. But if I was walking around the field and had flies on me, I can tell you, I've never had a bird land on me. And it's kind of fascinating, I find, that a bird can figure out which animals are safe to land on and which are not. Like, how do they know the predators from the prey? But they seem to. And they can say, you can say it's passed on, but for it to be passed on, <laughs> you would have had to teach them that. So I find it kind of interesting. It's just a weird thing. But... We'll leave these two to it. The baby pigeon looks comfy and cozy there. Oh, although maybe it's gonna jump off. There, and now its biggest risk is getting trampled by the sheep. And that one's quite curious by it. Sheep are curious animals. So the next job today is we gotta set up all these chutes because this is where we're going to be doing the vaccinations we got all the gates here ready to put up these are good chutes but the problem is they are made out of sheet metal right and they're extremely heavy they're not like the aluminum ones you get in the uk and probably australia and stuff here we have the massively heavy steel ones. So the chutes are ready. I got all the vaccines here and needles. Um, doesn't look like Ernie's quite ready yet, but we're gonna get these sheep going shortly.
Those gates there I bought probably 25 years ago, and even then I bought them used when I had Dorper sheep. That's the good thing about the metal ones, they're sturdy. Hi girls. Hi girls. Oh, the so we got the, what we do is we get the ewes all up in kind of a smaller trap area because they move easier if they're in a squeezed up area. If they got the whole pen, then they can choose an out instead of choosing to go down the chute. But these are all experienced ewes. Well, to be honest, there's a lot of first timers in this group, but they have been through chutes before, so. And then we put a smaller group up front that can go right into the chute. And as you can see, we have some people watching the whole process. So no one's gone down the chute. So they're going to have to get one, down, one in and then they'll all follow. But right now everybody's avoiding the actual chute part. Okay, so usually they squish down, but one has to just make that turn and see the chute there. And once one goes, they all go, usually. So I'll show you how the first, we set it up at first. There, she's just turned her head and looked down there, the one at the front. If she goes in, everybody will copy her. they have to do. Now with the suffix we can usually only get four maybe five in a double um, alleyway here shoot but with smaller sheep you could probably get six in there. Pulls the guillotine and the first four are done. Sorry my uh, My tripod's in the other barn, so I couldn't set it up to show you how we vaccinate, but we do it the old-fashioned way. I fill up the needles and pass it to him, so by the time he's injected one, I've got the other needle filled up, and it actually is quite quick, usually. We use this opportunity to give the rams their Glamvac 6 shot, too, so we just... Uh, gave Handsome his shot and Handsome has to be removed from this group now. So we're just going to put him in the other barn for now. So he's out of the way because we're going to have to put all the rams together outside and um, squeeze them up so that there's no fighting. But for now we just need to get him out of the way. There goes Handsome. Now it's just girls in here. Until we bring Fargo's group in. He's just going to stay there shortly. So these guys are getting their yearly booster shots. It will cover the ewes for the rest of the year and it will cover their lambs probably for the first three months after they're born as well, at which point we have to start vaccinating the lambs as well. It covers all the um, typical sheep diseases 
um, plus caseus because we use Glambeck 6. So it should stop um, them getting that as well. This is how we vaccinate the sheep. We don't have one of those guns. We probably should, but with two of us, it goes pretty quick with me just filling up needles. But if it was just one of us, the one gun would have been fine. Well, these shots are supposed to be under the skin, so he pinches up the skin like a tent and just sneaks the little, we find the little needles, they're quarter inch, no, half inch needles. And they work the best we find for doing this type of shot. This is the last group. And then the suffix are done. That's the last of the suffix done. That only took about, I don't know, half an hour. So now we're gonna move Hamish and his group over to the barn. See how easily these guys move or not. pregnant ewes, you want it to be as quiet as you possibly can make it for them. one sheep we know about. Max, come here. Good boy. Max, come here. Max, Max. Max, stay there. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, that's one group over. Max, come back okay, now. This is Hamish's group. We got some in the chute ready to go. And we just got to line up the others. And these guys are going to be staying in this barn now. Not this. They're going to go back here. And this is where they're going to stay till lambing. Hope he doesn't jump into the feeder there. We're on the last group of Hamish's. He's in a holding pen right now because he's going back with the ram shortly. Always when we work with sheep, it seems like we get tornadoes or bad storms. And take a look at this cloud coming in now. Is she a black one coming over there? The weather does not look friendly right now. The next group, sheriff's group.
Skittles. Come on. That's a good girl. That's good girls. We have the three Dorset rams locked in here. So they can get used to each other for a few seconds. And we're on to the last group that are going to be done today. These will all be the first sheep lambing, supposedly. Good girl, Angel. And he just goes down the row of the chute like that. And they all get done. The dorsets tend to be a little jumpier. But for on camera, they're really well behaved. There's the last crew coming through now. There go the last ones. I'll show you where these guys are all going. So we got one breeding group on this side and one on this side. Arnie cleaned the manure out of this side so you can see it's nice and low. And um, in the next day or so, maybe even t today, I don't know. But we're going to get that side done and then I'll... Now we just have to get the rams back with the other rams. We have three in a squeeze area and Handsome's back there on his own right now. So now we're going to get that pen ready to lock the rams up. It's getting late in the day so they won't be in here too long. But if we keep them in here four or five hours, that should be enough. So Arnie's just setting the, the catch area up. And then we'll be introducing these four new rams, Handsome and the uh, three Dorsets here. And here come the rams out. Okay, so these guys are going to battle it out in here. They can push and shove and get tired, but they shouldn't be able to harm each other. And that's the point of these pins. And hopefully in a short period of time, they'll get their frustrations out. Hamish is actually a really nice ram. He, he has, he's the new one in here and he's not interested in fighting at all. So they're all snug as a bug in their new pens. They're all clean. They've got fresh water, fresh salt and mineral, fresh hay. But uh, it was a move before lambing. They're not due to lamb till uh, the very earliest should be the 15th. But we have some old girls in here, like this one who's laying down. She's, I would say she's 10 this year. Most of the Texels are going to be 10 this year. And she's laying down. Doesn't mean anything, but over the next few days, uh, because even a quiet move where there's no incidents or anything, they had shots, they were moved. Um, it's a little bit of stress. They're pregnant, so uh, we'll pay extra attention to these girls. Hi, Angel. You don't look any worse for wear. Hi. 
Angel. She's in her new pen and she looks like she's settling in just nicely. Yes, you're really nice. So I guess we're going to call it a day. So from me and Angel, thank you for watching and I hope you join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now. <laughs>